Over the past couple weeks, you've probably heard about Mastodon. Mastodon is a social network that is similar to Twitter in a lot of ways, but also different. And you've probably heard about it because of, let's just say, the chaos happening at Twitter right now. And if you've heard about Mastodon, that also probably means you've heard about how confusing Mastodon is to set up. And I totally get it. Whenever I see people trying to explain how Mastodon works and go like, it's not actually that complicated, it really seems like someone who's explaining board game rules and it's like, there's just three rules you need to know and then 30 minutes later, they're still explaining the rules to you. I totally get it. It's definitely, it's more confusing than it should be, but it's also, I think, not quite as scary as it sounds from the outside. So in today's video, I wanted to try to demystify some of the sign-up process for Mastodon, give you an idea where to get started, and give you an idea of if this is something that you want to do or not. So let's jump into the screen share now and take a look. Okay, so I'm on Mastodon's website right now, and uh, I'm gonna hit create an account, and this is where people get lost, is I don't j get to just like enter my email address and create a password and everything. I actually have to select what instance of um, Mastodon that I wanna use. And so this is where it gets confusing. And without getting all into the weeds, the gist is that anyone can run Mastodon on their own web server and let people sign up for an account and use it there and everything. Um, and all these instances can talk to each other. So if you sign up at one server and I sign up at a different server, we can still talk to each other on Mastodon even though we're on different servers. So we'll get into like how that works in a second. Once I create an account, I'll start following people on different uh, Mastodon accounts. But yeah, it's, it is confusing. I'll put maybe a link to a couple of the big ones I know of um, in the description below. Um, there's this website called Mastodon Instances that kind of walks you through a wizard that shows you what ones might be good for you. I don't find it super helpful, um, but you enter your languages, like how many people, um, what sort of like moderation rules do you want, and then it gives you a list, and it's a ton. So like you kind of, it's, it's hard to figure out exactly. Um, I'm gonna be using mastodon.cloud uh, for this demo, but the process is gonna be the same no matter where you go. I would also say when you're selecting a server, try to get one with a lot of users, ideally one that's been around for a long time, because if your server shuts down, your account actually goes away too. So you wanna make sure, you can migrate to another server, but like it's, it's a whole thing. So you wanna do one that's gonna be reliable, it's gonna be around for a while. And I'll also say do one at a place that you trust, relatively speaking, because nothing is encrypted on Mastodon. Even messages that are like marked as only for the receiver, the server administrator can access all of it. So just be careful about that. Um, again, it's one of those tricky things. That's why it's a little complicated, but uh, let's go ahead and create an account on mastodon.cloud. So I'm just gonna go. Okay, so I'm going to agree to the server rules. Now I'm gonna open this in a new tab just to show you. Um, there are some kind of things over here uh, that a lot of these Mastodon servers will have moderation and specific things that aren't allowed. Um, so, you know, again, keep in, keep that in mind, I guess. But uh, this is emailing me a link. So I'm gonna open my email and I should have an email from Mastodon any second now. There we go. Okay, so it wants me to verify my email address. There we go. And I'm done, I'm in. So I have my Mastodon account. I'm not gonna allow notifications, um, but I'm at a better computer. I can edit my profile and this is, you know, just normal stuff. Um, give yourself a name, I'll do that. You can enter a bio, a header image, an avatar, like um, all this stuff. We'll just save the changes here. Um, we're not gonna get into like all the profile stuff you can do, but I've got my account, I can say, Hello world, toot it. There we go. And I have, and a toot is a tweet. Uh, so I've posted that. Um, you can uh, go ahead and delete it. You can delete and redraft. Um, this one hasn't been updated, but Mastodon actually just rolled out edits as well. So some servers will let you edit your posts, um, which is really nice um, since Twitter makes you pay for that. Um, but yeah, so there's uh, kind of my post. And now I want to start following people. So here's where you can um, kind of get into weirdness maybe. Um, I can go to my local timeline. And so this is just people posting. It's basically the raw feed of everybody posting to this instance, to um, mastodon.cloud. And so there you go, you can look at that. Um, but I wanna just like, I have a few people that I want to follow, right? So I have this over here and I've got Birch tree at mastodon.social. So this is my normal, like this is my actual like personal Mastodon account, um, but I'm not on mastodon.cloud, I'm on mastodon.social. So here's what you do. You just go search, you search for the username and at their kind of whatever over there. And you can see, hey, 
there's Matt Birchler, and there's my name, add me. I have Joanna Stern over here. She's on mastodon.world, but again, not a problem. Just search. There we go. There we are. And I can go ahead and get out of there, go to my homepage, and I think I might have to reload, but there we go. So now my feed, and let me kind of uh, make this full screen again. Now my feed is uh, my post, and then Matt Birchler boosted. Uh, that's the equivalent of a retweet. Uh, Joanna Stern posted this. And so it's going to be kind of boring because it's just the two of us <laughs> in my feed right now. Um, but if you find other people uh, to follow, you can follow them. And again, like I just showed, we don't all have to be using mastodon.cloud. Um, Again, I am using, if I click here, I'm using mastodon.social. Uh, Joanna Stern is using mastodon.world. And yeah, you're able to just follow anyone you want in the world. So that is something that I didn't realize. I really thought that if you wanted to follow different people on different Mastodon instances, you had to like set up different accounts and create an account on each one. That's not the case, which is great. Um, so yeah, that's really it. That's the quick setup. Um, again, you can go into your preferences. There's some stuff you can do um, with just general um, user account and everything. Um, I think this is where you would uh, go ahead. Yeah, move to a different account so you can configure. Um, you can redirect this account to a different one. So you can migrate. Um, I don't think you lose your followers, but anyway. There's a whole bunch here. I'm just scratching the surface, but that's how you sign up for Mastodon. That's how uh, you follow people from different instances. So even if they're not using the same version of Mastodon you are, you can still follow them. You can still uh, like get notifications of them. You can mention them. Um, so like, let's say uh, I go ahead and say, uh, this is great. So I'm just gonna toot at this person, which is me. Um, and then I should, if I go over to my Mastodon account, so this is my personal account, um, I can go here, I can see, hey, I was added by this a better computer at mastodon.cloud. And so that's all really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna follow myself back, and you're, this is kind of like weird at this point, but I have notifications, so I can see my notifications when people follow me, uh, at mentions. Um, yeah, so that's really all we're gonna get into today. It's kind of quick video. Um, we could go way deeper on this, but honestly, I'm not as much an expert at Mastodon yet uh, to really do a full walkthrough and explain every single thing to you. Um, but hopefully this gave you an idea for what it's like to sign up and how it's not maybe that scary, still a little scary. They should really clean this up. Uh, probably what's gonna happen is one big company is going to set up a Mastodon instance that's gonna centralize this and is gonna make things um, very easy, more user-friendly, and then most people just flock to that. Um, but yeah, for the time being, um, this is how you sign up. Um, I'll put a links to a couple of the big Mastodon instances that have been around for a long time um, that I feel pretty good about recommending to people, so you can check those in the description. And yeah, sign up if you want. Um, go ahead and follow me. Uh, at Birchtree, at Mastodon.social is where I actually operate. I'm probably going to delete this a better computer one because I don't actually need it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.